before I did porn, I had only fucked like eight people. Yeah. And I, now I'm like, I'm gonna fuck everyone. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Cooking with Nathan, and this is Abby Maley. And today I'm gonna teach her how to make chicken tikka masala. Very, very tasty dish if you do it fucking right. Yeah. So we are gonna try our best, right? You're gonna teach me how to make it really good. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. 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 How much cooking experience do you have? Um, I would say that my cooking experience is minimal. Mm -hmm. I say that I'm like a cookbook cook, so like. I, um, I'll um i try different recipes, like how I told you I made meatballs yesterday. Mm -hmm. and then how do you feel like like most, like when guys like really want to put it in your ass? Do you, do you find that an interesting thing? Because um, like I say that almost just for like shock value now. I really could care less if I get to fuck someone in the ass just because sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. I, I feel like it's the same reason um, that your camera guy doesn't want to fuck me. Mm, mm. It's because like, well, so like, you want to fuck my ass because I'm like, you can't fuck my ass. But as soon as I'm like, I only want you to fuck my ass, you can't fuck my pussy, you're gonna be like, oh, Yeah, pussy. no, it's like, I, I've had, I, no, let's, <laughs> let's be very honest. I would much rather fuck a vagina every day just for the sheer fact that it's like, it works great, yeah. it's meant for that. Um, yeah, it's uh, like, Doing anal, the idea of it always seems fun, but that's like when it, like the girl is so into get fucked in the ass, then I'm into it. But when it comes down to it, man, the cleanup, the prep, all that stuff, I just want to fuck. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. It's it's I a mean, lot. It's I a like... lot of fucking work for the same payoff when the because the asshole once it loosens up, it is just loose. The pussy can grip down on you, you know. Yeah. I also, um, I mean, I have fucked a boy in the ass with a strap on. Yeah, I know, you've asked me to do it. Yeah, yeah. but you should see, I'm like, I'm not meant to have a dick. I don't know what to do with it. And it's like so obvious, like people are like, oh, I want to see you peg a guy. And I'm like, here you go. And it's me going, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do this. I'm really yeah, glad I'm Especially when you girl. can't feel it. It's, uh, it's got to be tough because I know a lot of girls who are like, Oh, I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I'm like, girl, I've seen your hips move. Before I did porn, I had only fucked like eight people. Yeah. And then I was like, and then and then it's like, uh, I was like, I need to up my numbers really fast because like I'm like I am old now, and I, now I'm like I'm gonna fuck everyone. I'm an old true now. Yeah. So and then I started fucking. How old were you at the fuck that one? Twenty-seven. Yeah. Sure. But like 27, only fucking like eight people. I was such a good girl Yeah, I was, for so long. I was so not a good girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fuck a lot of the same girls over and no, over again. No, I don't. Really? No, it's almost always new girls. Like every, I like maybe I'll get to work with one girl three times a year. I'm working almost every day. I know, you're working every day. Cause every time I call, I'll always like, I'll, I always text him and I'm like, can I come over after the gym and suck your dick? And he's like, I'm working. And I'm like, God damn it. It smells so good. Cause I can smell now. Yeah. How was that going from not being able to smell to being able to smell? It's awesome. And you're like, also like kind of confused. Like you're like, because Cause I couldn't smell at all, which sucked because you don't realize how many, how much joy being able to smell brings to your life. So once I could start smelling again, I just was like really, I was really excited and it's cool. And also like, you know, in, in, in this, in this world, it's funny cause people are like, oh, you can't smell. That's like good for your job because you're always like, you know, have your face in people's asses and stuff. And I'm like, but I like the smell or I wouldn't do it. You know what I yeah. mean? It's like. And honestly, there's only so many times where I'm like, that smells so bad. I'm like, I, I can't, I can't, you yeah. know? There's only, there's very few times. All right, here we go. I like that we're making Indian food and then you're gonna bang me after this. Yeah, All right? Sounds nice. <laughs> and now mix it that up. It looks like cheese. Uh, and if guys, you're wondering what we put in there, cilantro, garlic, ginger went in first, Mix that all together, this should make a really good marinade. I always think it's funny that like, uh, you know, there's all these like jokes like, 
bitch made me sandwich type shit, like girls belong in the kitchen. Yeah. But then like all the best chefs in the world are always boys. And it's just like- boys Well, no, why? Like, dude, you, like working everything. in a kitchen is just not a great environment for a yeah. lot of women. Uh, it's gotten better, oh, it okay. but it's still never been that great of a place. There you go. Who's a bad bitch? I am. We got this, yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna eat, who's gonna let me eat her a butt later? I am. There we go. Positivity. Yeah. Yeah. Positive reinforcement. Yeah. I wish this was what, how, what happened every time I cook. <laughs> Someone's just there, be like, I'm gonna fuck you so good yeah. later. Oh. <laughs> that looks good. I'm gonna cook this at home on my own, and then you guys can have like a follow up to this to this where it's like this is what it, so. So make sure we get a photo of how it looks when I cook it with you, Nathan, and yeah. then when I cook it later on my own, we'll see how it turns you know out. What? I should do a two-part episode of these when I teach someone how to do it. The second part's a girl I'm like, just like camera, all, ah, the house is on fire, yeah. shit. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't catch anything on fire. Yeah, you'll be fine. When I cook at home, I normally wear my hair up, but this, but I. I spent all this effort to wand my hair that it needs to be seen. Because I rarely do my hair. This is, you're special. Nail it. Nail you later. Fuck yeah. That's the point. You can, now you can feel it's almost sticking up. I can feel when most things sticking up. Yeah? Yeah. Say, just say what things yeah. up in your hand. <laughs> like about this job by the way porn or yeah, porn um, not cooking this is your job um i what i like about my job is mostly that i um one i get professional dick yum that's way better right yeah um so i like to get professional professionally fucked mm. I think I like that um, that I get to work with whoever I want to work with whenever I want to work. Mm -hmm. So like the freedom of my time that it gives me. And then I get to kind of like experience all these like really fun sexual things in like a safe environment, if that makes sense? Yeah. So like all my sexual fantasies, I get to like be like, this is what I want, but it's not like, I'm not like Craigslist being like, can, up. Can, can you and your friends tag team me? Yeah. I'm like, can you and your friends tag team me? And then we're like, it's all no. like, can you do this or whatever? All right, let's, let's throw the chicken in there. Yeah. We may I also think it's like a really liberating job to have. It's fun. Um, yeah, this is something I was asking the other day. I think is really interesting uh, because you're not you're not in a relationship, right? Um, I am kind of. Okay, but kind of. But you weren't. I like, was not for yeah. for forever. Did you ever hook up with uh, normal people? Yeah. What was the difference? Do you ever feel like there was a, like a competitive nature, like they felt like they needed to fuck you harder? And what was the difference between fucking someone that you like you've worked with and dumped the chicken in there? Sorry. No worries. And like uh like from professional fucking to uh rando fucking. Uh I feel like Scrape that out. I do think that you're that like the the boys the the civilians. That's mm. what porn people call normal Civvies. people. Civilians. Um, I think that like the civilian people, I, I do think that they would, it was like they were trying to prove a point. Yeah. Or like they thought that they could fuck me really Makes hard sense. because I'm, they watched like a video and they're like, oh, this chick I, likes to get fucked hard. I watch you fuck Aiden Bronson, it looks like he did. Yeah. I mean, and, but I do like that. Yeah. But, it, but I like that with people that actually know how to do it correctly. Agreed. So, um. And then there's like, there's that, and then there's addition to like dating like civilian people who yeah. are just immediately like, well, if we were gonna be together, it would be in an open relationship because like I would get to fuck whoever I want because you get to fuck whoever you want. And I'm like, but I'm, this is a job and I'm getting paid, and like, you're just, I don't know. It's all interesting because it's like, it's like if, if, do you want to have an open relationship? Like, can I fuck whoever I want off camera? Yeah. And they're like, well, no. And I'm like, well, that doesn't work that way. Yeah, well. then it's like, it's, so uh, just find the right person and where you're like everything's like compatible. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, right? It's definitely. I do think that like I do think that since I've done this job and what I tell people when they're like, oh, I'm thinking about doing porn. Like, how does like I'm like it really does affect your 
personal life in like a negative way a very because negative way. You think that like, especially when it comes to like dating in general, because it's like, how confident, how many people in the world are super confident? None. And then, and then so it's like, it's like- Serial killers. Yeah, exactly. It's like, so the, being like, being with a girl who's constantly getting fucked, oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm so excited. Getting fucked by cute boys who are good at sex. It's like, you have to be like, you have to be confident enough to that. Yeah, or understand the job, and you don't really understand it until you do it, so it's like a thing. Let's try this out. Let's try it out. Actually, switch me side. Okay. Mm. Yum! Mm. It's delicious. I'm gonna cook this. I'm, I'm gonna cook this, and then I'm gonna send you a video and a photo of how good I did. The only thing I think, more chicken. We made a lot of the sauce, not as much chicken. Well, that's that's a, now you can just make more, right? Yeah. Mm. Fucking high five! Good job. No, I just threw rice in here. Everything's always stuck in my hair. All right. Well, I know. So we can eat this and do the rest of our day. Tell the people where they can find you. Oh, um, you can find me on Instagram at Abby Mailey underscore. You have to type in the whole thing because I'm super shadow banned. Or at Abby Mailey Fit on Instagram, Abby Mailey on Twitter, OnlyFans.com slash Abby Mailey, Abby Mailey.com, my Amazon wish list. I had all of the things, but yeah. And I have a lot of videos with him. A lot. A lot. Like a lot. We have a lot of videos. Yeah. It's good sex. It is. Well, guys, thanks for coming for another week of ha uh, Cooking with Nathan. Also, go check out my merch store, guys. Go buy Cooking with Nathan shit. So, tune in next week. Bye. Bye. Yum.